News 10's Jeff Marr joins us live with more on this. All right. Okay, Jeff. Um, yeah, well, huh? one of the things that you can get here at the 99 cent store is a bib. Now, why would you need a bib? Because oh, no. frankly, a lot of people can't handle their chocolate consumption. It makes me sick, to be frank, uh, that people just overconsume their chocolate. I don't eat chocolate, and I don't really eat a lot of candy, but when I do, I do it in moderation, okay? We're going to talk about all this in much more detail coming up in the full forecast, of course, in just a couple minutes. You guys are wimps. I was outside without my jacket, as you probably noticed, Ashton. I did. I oh, guess it's because I'm from Colorado. I don't know. Yeah, whatever. Please. You haven't been here long enough to thin out. It's going to happen, I'm telling you. <laughs> <laughs> It'll thin. All right. We'll It'll see. thin. You'll have that California blood. <laughs> yeah, okay. What are you talking about this morning, Jeff? You know, uh, Twitter is kind of blowing up with this. TMZ has confirmed that Kim Kardashian is dating Kanye West. Uh, they were seen uh, coming out of the what? Hunger Games, going on a recent date, and uh, I see a bad song coming out of this. A lot of uh, a lot of Twitter traffic on this. Uh, Angie says I give them three days. Uh, another person saying this won't last longer than her and Chris's marriage. So hmm. uh, we'll see That's what happens with that. Interesting. Uh, let's go to something I actually care about. Um, <laughs> smartphones. <laughs> Tell us how you really feel. <laughs> smartphones. Uh, these are great. Okay, we're talking about uh, the iPhone 4S, talks of the iPhone 5 coming out. They can pretty much do anything, but the reality is this is going to be the laughing stock of the electronics world very soon, and it's because of technology that Google is putting out there. They just released this trailer, and it's going to make guys who wear glasses super cool. Check it out. You're already cool, Jeff Meyer. I know. Already cool. But look at this, Project Glass. This is the trailer. Okay. Guy wakes up, he's got his glasses on. This is augmented reality display that would sit over the eye and run on an Android mobile platform. And it's fairly unobtrusive to the eye. Um, these little icons pop up. How is that unobtrusive to the eye? Because Wait, you can see through. I lost. I mean, when it goes right in front of you, yeah, it's unobtrusive. It, it is obtrusive. So but, I'm going um, to eat a hamburger and it's going to tell me I'm eating a hamburger? It doesn't do that. Oh. It, it's it's going to, anytime you get a text, a call. Man, really? Okay, see, look, he's, so, Wait, so this the is subway's been suspended, suspended okay. and then it automatically brings up a map. That is pretty form. cool, though. That is pretty uh, neat. It is no. cool, but, uh, but... Okay, but now you can't wear these when you're driving. Okay. Because now you've got one more problem. You know, I don't think they've even established rules for this yet. There's not even a release date, but clearly this is right around the corner uh, with this technology. Oh boy. The question is, I mean, does this go too far? I mean, why stop there? Why not just put nanotechnology in our brains, put the chip in, just do it? Because there's already talk that this is going to progress to a contact lens, not just glasses. Maybe you could use it as a phone eventually, too. You can. He makes calls. He does this. make calls? He actually makes a video call at the end with his girlfriend. Oh, that's pretty cool. No. Yeah. No, what do you mean it's it not is cool? Not. That is cool, Keith. It's just ridiculous. Oh, come on. Sure. You're oh, no, ridiculous. Sorry. Talk about your shoes later. That's ridiculous. <laughs> well, that's a good story. Don't tease that. <laughs> Jeff Marr, thank you for that. Anytime. Goggles. We'll see. Goggles. We'll see when it comes I like out. It. Um, maybe Ashton should check into the weather at the Vatican because Pope Benedict would really like to know if this 550 pound chocolate egg that was given to him is going to melt by the end of the day. And I saw this yesterday on World News. I mean, this is because, even on CNN, I saw this yesterday. Yeah, you know, I've played at a golf course that was men only. And just for you ladies out there, you're not missing out on anything. <laughs> just so you know. Okay. It was a golf course in Colorado. Men only allowed, private. Why did you go there? Why did you choose I was brought there by a friend. It was okay. one of the nicest courses in Colorado. Um, but yeah, very interesting uh, mm -hmm. debate there at Augusta. I wonder if dogs are allowed at Augusta. Um, not female dogs. Well, probably not this dog. <laughs> probably not Sierra, the Swiss mountain dog. Sierra is a bad, bad dog. Sierra lives in uh, Seattle with his owner, Russ Bergman. And uh, Russ was able to get four tickets to the practice round of the Masters. The practice round, even getting tickets to that, it's hard to do. So what does this uh, Sierra Mountain Dog do? He eats the tickets. Nice. What does his owner do? He gives the dog hydrogen peroxide to get the dog to throw up. <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna so have he to can say piece the to tickets, tickets together. This is what the tickets <laughs> looked like. His technique worked. <laughs> Let's see this. Look at that. <laughs> Uh, and he was uh, able to present these tickets to the Masters, and really? they accepted them. Really? really? Now, I do support him getting the dog to throw up the tickets rather than come out the other end to 
pick through them. That's just me. Um, now, how much were these tickets worth? I don't know how much these go for. I just know that even getting into the Masters for anything, just to watch this uh, Our producer stuff is saying is, you just can't get But here's what, I, mean, yeah, here's what I really don't understand. I mean, you're a golfer. Maybe you can answer this question for me. In my opinion, watching golf is not all that exciting. Playing it maybe because it takes a high level of skill. Yeah. And you've got to have a lot of patience, but standing there and watching a round of guys Snooze come through fast. and swing their clubs and, and knock the balls out, you can't even see what happens. Well, the green is so far away. I think like with anything, if you're a big fan, that is the best time of your life to go. You know what? If you're a big fan. Let me show you why it's exciting. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. Got a video for you. This is from the practice round. This is the most amazing shot that I've ever seen in my life. Okay, that's from Martin Keimer. One of the best golfers in the world. He skips the ball across the water. It makes it to the green. Intentionally, or was that an accident? That was an accident, and it goes in. That's a hole in one. Whoa. Really? And I showed it again in slow motion. I could do Let's that. Let's see. Oh, oh, you could do I that. I could do that. Okay. Done. Uh, uh, just an incredible shot. Hopefully he can do that again awesome. uh, during the actual tournament. But That's I got to tell you. That's some happy Gilmore stuff right there. If you were in the audience, you'd be cheering for that. And not I to mention, be. you know, these are not just ordinary golfers. You've got Rory McIlroy. You've got Tiger Woods, who just uh, won his uh, first round, his, his uh, first um, golf game in a long time. Mm -hmm. And now they're looking to see if he can rebound that with the Masters. So there's a lot of excitement out there. You don't have to be a golfer to appreciate it. Okay, well, from All right, golf, Jeff, whatever you say. basketball. <laughs> what if I need Wait, a new Wait, you tie? understand that? I do, shoes? Because, well, because you can bring shoes along with you. You can have one bag and bring an extra pair. You don't what if it. I'm enjoying a hot dog at a ball game and I've got mustard and ketchup all over me? I need new clothes. Or what if you're at work, you do a live shot, you get chocolate on your tie. Right. Oh, you can just go to the vending like machine and get a new one. It happened to me this morning. We're the ladies. <laughs> Maybe even a little bit of thunder snow in the high country. What? Ooh, that's my you know, That's he my made cue. that up. This he made is it a up. real thing. It's a thunderstorm that produces uh, snow instead of rain. And I have and not screened this, so I'm hoping there's out. not going to be a naked guy running across your head. <laughs> you no, I think that's a fully that's clothed person. Okay. I, I made sure that Jeff showed this. This is a thundersnow event, not from California, another part of the country. And it would be... You um, just made this animation, didn't no, you? No, you made I'm this serious. This is real. <laughs> this is real truth. You, I have no idea what this is about. But <laughs> what is happening? Watch out for Nick's hair. This is Before careful. To careful. Jeez. Yeah. This is our floor director, Pete, going crazy. Before we get to that, guys, <laughs> I got some love from really? Michelle H., one of our viewers. Yeah. Tell the guys to stop acting like men. Mm. Shoe vending well, machine is a great idea. Sometimes you're just caught out with shoes that kill your feet, shoes that hurt. Sweet relief, that's convenient. These girls are gonna make a lot of money. She Sweet says, relief. go girls. Yep, not to mention they're creating stop. jobs. I, okay, Michelle. Thank you, Michelle. I, 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 thank find you. Michelle. I don't thank know you. how to stop acting like a man, but I will. <laughs> 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 yeah, I know, right? I'll tone it down, fine. But can we at least have vending machines that have the outfits too? I would take okay. that in a heartbeat. I'll take both. All fine. right, you okay. go. Fair. Mm -hmm. Deal. All right, uh, Jeff. Sign sealed, done. done. <laughs> what is this? Yes, saran wrap. Why do I have saran wrap? Please. Well, we're talking about April Fools. And you know, one of the most cruel jokes is to put a saran wrap over a toilet and then ah. see what happens <laughs> to your friend. But what about when you do it to a cat? That's just messed up. Look at this. I like to sprint down this hallway. So we put saran wrap there. You ready? Get that ball. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I, really? I can't decide if this is again. funny or mean. <laughs> oh, that's mean. I, this is not it's mean. funny. <laughs> we should test not funny, Muffins. Jeff Mar. <laughs> Poor cat. You know what? Oh. We'll, we'll see you back here tomorrow. Have a good one. That's awful. That's funny. <laughs>